this is your upper push movement stream. You want to be working to a quality 15 repetitions before considering progression to the next exercise along the stream. You should feel it in your triceps, chest, and the front of your shoulders. From a coaching standpoint, we're going to be making sure we hit a tall plank at the top and full range of motion, so sternum to floor or bar or full stretch, essentially at that bottom position, as far as we can into that range of motion whilst keeping good shoulder position, keeping a full hand contact throughout the movements, maintaining your trunk position so you're not using your trunk to assist in the movement. Um, and controlling the lowest. There's no bounce as we come out of that bottom position. Finally, elbows over wrists is a really effective piece of coaching. When you do any of these movements, your elbows want to stay over your wrists from both above and from a side angle. In terms of cues that I'll give people with these movements, stay tight, that'll help to keep your body position in check. Kiss the floor or full stretch as someone lowers that bottom position. As they're coming up, I like to say push the floor away. That really incentivizes that big drive out the bottom and then all the way up as well, guys. So making sure people come all the way into that top position. Variations that you can use, you can have deficit with the push-ups. You can change the loading by altering the body position with something like a push-up or adding weight in the case of a bench press or weighted dips or weighted push-ups even. Uh, and obviously you can change the tempos as well in any of these movements to make them harder. For a more detailed analysis of your pushing exercises, please check out our introduction to push video, which is on the members area of the website. This will give you all the details and coaching that you need to really execute your pushing exercise as well. Awesome guys, enjoy.